praise God. Uh, this testimony comes from Helen in Uganda. It's a testimony about Daniel. Daniel is a 13 year old nephew of mine who is um, uh, who was sick. Daniel was diagnosed with um, two holes in the heart, two wounds in the heart and cancer and some wounds in the stomach. So when I was called by my sister's husband about the sickness, they had just received the results of the x-ray and from Soroti Regional Hospital. Also the diagnosis showed that the, the veins had started drying up and Daniel was very very anemic. He was helpless, he was bedridden ridden actually. So on hearing this, because now Soroti Regional Hospital could not handle this case, so they were referred to to Mulago National Hospital in Kampala. So they didn't have enough money, so that's when he decided to call me. When he called me, the first thing which came into my mind was prayer, because prayer has always been my, my savior in many situations. So I called Prophet Jude that I have this situation at hand, and we pray over it. So Pastor uh, Prophet Jude immediately put me in prayer, pray together. And after the prayer, he told us, he told me that Daniel is going to heal. I should not worry. Those of you who know cancer is a disease without a cure. And the issue of the heart is usually life and death. So this, these were big issues in, the, in our lives. But I had to believe, I had to use my faith to believe that Daniel would get well. So we prayed and that was that. After two days, I called back to check how Daniel was faring. And I was told that Daniel's situation has, had stabilized there was some improvement. The situation was not getting worse, but he had stabilized. So this raised my faith to believe that the healing had started. So because they are in the village, they had to look for money now because they had been referred to the Mulago National Referral Hospital. Mulago Hospital. So they had to look for money to go there. To, to go there. Eventually they managed to mobilize some money and they went to do further tests and treatment in Mulago Hospital. So when they went for tests, they did a CT scan. They had to review those x-ray by doing another x-ray on Daniel. And then they had to, to check the results if the indeed the, the boy had cancer. To our amazement, Daniel had no holes in the heart. Daniel had no 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 wounds in the heart there was no cancer in his body even the, the stomach which they had said there were wounds or swellings or worms there were no worms except just two small swellings which were in his stomach and then the veins which they said had started drying up from the chest were perfect so the diagnosis from the National Hospital showed that Daniel was perfect. So in amazement, in shock, we knew indeed the miracle had happened. So Daniel had to come back home happy. He has, as we talk now, Daniel eats very well. His body has come back. The anemia is normal. He's a healthy child. So I tell this testimony to thank 
Daniel uh, to, to, to thank Prophet Prophet Jude for praying for us, for praying for Daniel. We glorify his name. We give honor to the name of Jesus Christ. Regards from Uganda. Thank you. Hallelujah. Grace, that's, that's the power of God and that's the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I, I want you to give thanks to the Holy Spirit and give thanks to God. He is the one um, that is doing all the miracles. We are just um, a platform that God is using to reach people all over the world. And I believe that God has been healing the sick. If you're sick in your body, you have cancer, you have disease, whatsoever issue you're going through, the same God that did it for Grace and Daniel can also do the same thing for you. I want, us, I want you to join us in a prophetic worship. There's going to be healing and deliverance. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.